Hey, this is Heidi with Opticom. I'm here with the MIV4141SV Vandal Dome IP networking camera. Ooh. So this camera is uh, pretty standard in terms of the looks outside, right? It's got three pieces, Vandal Dome, but this is a uh, motorized zoom lens verifocal camera. So that means that uh, through the software itself, you can zoom in and zoom out with a motorized zoom lens. And that means it's an adjustable lens, right? So I'll run through this pretty quickly. This is just a brief overview. So you've got a three part component to this uh, particular unit, right? So here's your base plate or junction box, whatever you want to call it. We call it a base plate. It's got a punch out for conduit right here. If you want to go through, if you don't want your cable to go through this way, but you want it to go through the side because that works for you and that's easy. You can see the screw holes here for conduit to go right into this. Uh, this is a cable management type of deal. So that means the cable goes right into the wall and none of it is exposed after installation. Then you've got your second part here. So once you've mounted this to the wall or the ceiling, then you're going to put this back to this, right? So you mount that to that. Um, and then you've got this top part here, which you would unscrew and take off to actually uh, do anything inside of the camera. So this camera can be wall mounted and ceiling mounted, as I said, which means the inside part where the camera is can be adjusted forward and backwards and turned side to side. So you can get the right angle that you need that's gonna best suit the job that you want. You can see that it has infrared LEDs on it as well. And there's also a rubber ring right across the top right here. Now what that does is that prevents glare from the LEDs from reflecting um, from the glass on the, the dome covering itself. We'll go through the connectors on here. So this just a couple things. IP66 waterproof IK10, um, so waterproof, dust proof, or dust resistant rated, uh, 100 foot distance on those infrared LEDs. It's an H.265 compression um, on here. It can be directly accessed through the internet, through Explorer, through an NVR, through VMS software. It's ONVIF compliant, as are all of our products, which means that it integrates easily with other systems. Um, I think that's it. So it's DNR, uh, or digital noise reduction, uh, WDNR or I'm sorry, WDR, which is wide dynamic range, backlight compensation, highlight compensation. Um, it's got a mini storage system in it. So you could put like a little TF, SD, we used to call them SD cards, but now they're TF cards. I think those are the smaller ones, right? Well, I know they are. Um, and that can go right in there for storage locally on the camera itself, uh, which makes things really convenient. Um, it's going to be a four megapixel resolution on this one. Uh, and again, that motorized verifocal lens. So what we'll do is run through uh, the connectors. It also has a built-in heater. So that's really important, which is negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that's important, uh, not for everybody in the South, but uh, for those of us up North and farther North than I am, I'm in Michigan, that's kind of a, uh, a perk and a necessity. So we'll run through this whole slew, right? So here's the camera and there's just this whole thing of connectors that come off the end of it. So we'll go through this. So here we have uh, RS-485 connection on here. Then you've got an alarm in and an alarm out. So I really love that this camera is just has all the bells and whistles, right? So um, that means you can do an alarm on this camera itself. So if you want to hook it up to like one of those strobing lights, so if it picks up, not for a party guys, but if it picks up motion, um, anything like that, right? You can connect it right through the camera itself. Here you've got the power connection, right? So 12 volt DC, this is still PoE, but it has a power local option on it. Uh, this is our waterproof RJ45 connection for the uh, PoE and for the video, right? So power over ethernet and video. So what that means is that here's the RJ45 connection right here. You would build your cable, right? You'd put your cable, your Cat 5E or your Cat 6 or whatever you're using. You're going to go through here and through here, right? So there's like a rubber grommet. You can't really see it. Um, that helps with that waterproof connection, right? Through here. And then it's going to come out on this end. You're going to put your RJ45 connector. And then you're sealing this up. When you put this on, it actually tightens that rubber around the cable so that it stays in place and it's snug so water can't get in there. Okay, then you'd have your RJ45 connection here and that's going to plug right into here. And then there's another grommet right here for sealing, right, to secure that. And then you put that on and then you've got a nice tight seal. We always recommend that you silicone um, just because it really helps with the waterproofing. Um, but that's on there as well. And then we've got... <laughs> lost train of thought here. Uh, okay, so then we've also got this right here, which is your microphone, right? So you can add audio to this unit as well, and that'll stream through your PoE. Uh, and then you've got headphones, right? So a speaker, if you want to have this go to a speaker or to headphones, that plugs in right here. And then also a BNC. So I really love this um, on the BNC because you've got an IP networking camera, and maybe you're hooking it up and your test monitor doesn't test IP cameras. Well, you can just hook it into your regular test monitor. Or maybe you install it somewhere and they need this particular camera, or you have an application where they have an area where they need the camera to be on the network, but they also just need to run it straight to a monitor. 
Well, because you've got this, right? You can put it on the network, but then you've got this, what so makes it so easy to run that video image straight to a monitor, right? It's already powered by the PoE, but you can take the video image and run it straight to a monitor, which is uh, really helpful and really, really convenient. Um, it's got an IR cut filter, the, the two-way audio, right? With that mic and that headphone, two-way audio, which is really great. And then, um, I mean, I think that's it. So for Megapixel, if you have any questions, uh, the spec sheet can be found on our website at www.opticumtech.com or you can give us a call at our office. It's 1-800-578-1853 and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks and have a really great day.